What's up everyone? It's been a long time since I dropped a video and as we're speaking we're in a bit of a crisis so I just want to say to everyone out there and all my viewers, stay safe, keep your hands clean. <laughs> I've got a lake behind me, this is one of Forbidden Roots Falls venues and like I said in previous videos, I haven't got everything that I wanted at the moment so I've come down here, got some boilies, I'm going to prep a spot and then hopefully over the next couple of days we'll get another fish for the camera. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to run over a few fish that I think need mentioning again that I've caught on my channel over the previous couple of years, either for their beauty, their looks or for their sheer power. So let's get stuck into it. So like I said, this video and this backdrop is going to be featuring in Forbidden Roots Fall at one point. I won't say too much about the lake at the moment, otherwise I'll spoil a few things, but I'm just here to put a bit of bait in, see if we can get one over the next couple of days. Let's take this hood down, it's a bit rude isn't it? Bit of a mullet. Let's take it back to 2017-2018 season on the river. Um, it was my first real season of putting some serious effort in. And let me tell you, I put some, a lot of nights down on this stretch. Um, there's a couple of fish that spring to mind. My first take that I had was an absolutely epic and very rare visitor to the bank. It was a fully scaled mirror and one that really doesn't come out that often. And I can just remember saying to myself, what a creature, and especially to come out of a thin little river like this. Just wouldn't think that he's a resident in there. Uh, I was absolutely blown away and it was shitting out all the boiling that I was putting in and I remember that very clearly lifted it up for the camera and it projectiled on me and <laughs> me and uh, a mate I can remember uh, we were laughing about that but just what an epic fish and that is one that always sticks in my memory. That river is full of amazing amazing fish and another one that springs to mind and I haven't seen it in a couple of seasons um, is a really old looking common and it has like some serious features, a tiny little love heart tail, um, quite sort of broad on the upper side of its body and then sort of slopes down and the fish just looks so old and really really historic and I'll tell you what, I reckon it could tell a few stories living in there. But I don't think, sadly, I don't think it's still swimming around in there. But and all I can say is, us anglers that have caught that one, I think we should be really privileged because it was such, such a look at. So let's talk about 2019 season. I know I've already made a video about this on my YouTube channel, but that fish that I had last year, um, still all the effort that I stuck in over the previous season, it made it all worthwhile by getting a new PB from the river. It was a 25 pound common, if you can't remember, and it just blew me away catching that, especially off the surface when not a lot else was going on because of the heat. It was so hot that day, so muggy, and I just felt so privileged again to, uh, for this one to grace my net. We're gonna go back a few years now. We're going back to Forbidden Roots 2, back on the sand pit. Um, I think I've still got some footage left of this somewhere backed up on some hard drive, but one day, I think it was near the end of that campaign, um, I ended up having three immaculate fish and every single one of these was an absolute banger. These mirrors were awesome. One was a really dark, leathery mirror, and I just remember looking at that, holding that one up, and just thinking, what a fish. And then later on that day, I had a, like a big, crusty linear, um, and then I gave it a couple of hours, returned to exactly the same spot, and had another one around 26 pounds which again, it was a really scaly character. All I can remember saying to myself is, you don't need all the gear. And all I was doing was roaming around with a little rod, nicking one out of the margins. And, uh, and it goes to show, there's three fish on the bank in a day, and all of them over 25 pound, and two over 30. And while I'm talking about special fish, I've got to take it back to Thailand last year. Um, whilst I was there, I had the privilege of catching some amazing fish. I went for an arapaima, never managed to actually catch one, but I did catch um, a red tail, 
which is something um, I've always wanted to catch. And those Siamese carp, pound for pound is the hardest fighting fish I've ever hooked. I had two 75 pound ones back to back and it broke me that did, especially in that heat. Had this fish on about a quarter of an hour now and he's running me around the lake. Oh, I'm absolutely killing him. Oh, look. Look at the size of it. Look at that. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I'll back to the next. I'll back to the next. I was absolutely exhausted after that. And let me tell you, those fish can fight. So if you fancy uh, fancy hooking some sheer power fish, then I would recommend going to Thailand because the scenery is amazing, the food's great, the people are great, and if you like the weather, that is awesome as well. So make sure you put that on your bucket list. At the beginning of last spring, I've got to mention this one because again, I was just roaming around with one rod, found some fish in the corner of a park, busy, busy park lake, and I know it's full of fish this one, but to pick out a 44 pound mirror out of the rest of them, I thought that was a good bit of angling by myself. And I remember as well, just seeing them all there. And all I had was dog biscuits. And um, you know, who said you can't catch big ones off the surface? I can remember it just going creaking. And at the time I never caught a fish that big on one of the uh, sawn offs. So I didn't know if, it's, <laughs> if it was gonna cope with it, but it did and it coped with it with ease as well. And when that fish went in the back of the net, that was a moment, especially on a busy part lake, got all these people coming around and people are so amazed about that fish swims in that lake that they walk around every single day. And to be fair, I was amazed as well. I'd like to make a video about all the fish that I've caught over the last couple of years, but that'd be one hell of a blog, wouldn't it? So we're gonna keep them to a minimum. And I've got to say, I can't leave this one out because it was my PB and still is my PB now. Um, on a winter ticket, I managed to catch the upfront common from a busy uh, members lake, and I can, I'm still blown away at the sheer size of that fish now. When that goes on the mat, it's a proper, proper special one. And to catch it at that time of year as well off the surface, absolutely amazing so i hope you like my little recap and like i said i'm just going to bring small short videos at the moment especially with everything that's going on you know i'm trying to get out as much as possible and i hope you guys are too but i think all our health and our safety at the moment is uh, is a lot more important so keep yourself safe and if you haven't already please subscribe hit that bell notification see you in the next one